The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy back here with a part two of the Easy Digi setup. So I'm going to go through and try to make this quick. So what we got here is we have my USB cable. This is the uh, USB serial uh, connector, I mean adapter. We have our USB sound card and my USB hub that I'm going to be using. Then the headphone mic jack for the radio. Here is the box that we're going to be using. And I went ahead and uh, I can get this up. I went ahead and mounted a piece of uh, acrylic plastic on the bottom with two standoffs for the uh, digi to be mounted on, like such. I have one hole in the lid so far for the uh, USB cable to come in through and the USB hub that I'm using I was able to grind off this little piece here and that will fit right into that lid like such I'll come in over here with power and hook unsolder these wires and solder down the the cable now this is a USB 3.0 but uh, I went ahead and cut off the wires here that makes it the 3.0 and eliminated the little uh, terminal jack that was on there so because we're only needed USB 2.0 so I don't need all this other excess so that'll be like that then these will get plugged into here and go down to this fella. So if we look at this this way like this, we have our audio to PC and our audio from PC. And we're going to be, let me see if I can get a pen or something. Hooking the ground up on the left and the ground on the left here for the audio and we have our uh, audio from the PC here then obviously the audio well to the PC and from the PC so we need to run a jumper from the PTT ground to audio coming off the C2 I'll have a uh, a link in the description for photos of this and how the wiring goes. I went ahead and soldered on my uh, connections here for the sound card. We're using the uh, the ground, then the outer terminal on each side for the speaker and mic. I added a little uh, sticky type little pad there so it'll uh, fit better when it's plugged in it'll have something to set on so it won't be on an angle so what we're going to do is go ahead and solder all this up then uh, I'll take pictures of it and also put them on the website and we'll see how this works so we'll be back here in a few now we're back I went ahead and soldered everything up here and uh, like I said on my website I have the wiring diagram for this but uh, we have our uh, cable hooked up going to the radio this is going to the USB uh, serial then these are going to and from the computer so if we look over here Here's a glimpse of that, how I did that. Came out of there, 
and then I just hot glued it and uh, this here I'll push out once I get this mounted in there and do some wire management so we can button everything down so it don't come on loose we have our connector here for the radio then our cable here for the computer so I just have the Bofung here hooked up to a scanner antenna in the attic and we're just going to plug this guy in and uh, turn this on for APRS just to test this out real quick and as you can see if we watch it here we should start receiving some packets there we go so we know that's working see if we can let that there there we go then we're just going to take this guy and plug it into the computer and this usb hub has uh switches for each uh usb and like i said this is a usb 3.0 but i just cut off the uh wires that makes it a 3.0 and just used a USB 2.0 cable so right now I am using AFSK 1200 decoder on the computer and I have my uh, USB uh, cable connected and what we are going to do is run this again and select the right input so let me change the camera here so you can see so there up in the top left it's kind of hard to see but I'm sitting here holding the camera as you can see we're receiving packets from the radio going into the uh, easy digi into the usb and as you can see the usb blinking there and if we go up to here we can see that we have packets coming in now it's not the i don't have a lot of traffic going on here in the area but uh it is working might have to turn the volume up. Alright, so there we go. We got a couple more popping in there. So, that's how we do it. That's how we can test that out real quick. To see at least uh, some of it in action. So hopefully I can make another video on this on uh, what to do with this thing. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see you on the next one.